Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome to this new Let's Play of Hearts Iron 4. And it's been a while since I touched the game now. It's been uh, quite a few months actually, and there's been another expansion, the Together for Victory expansion, and then, then they added a patch on that as well. So I thought I would try to experiment a bit um, with the new stuff, which is completely unfamiliar to me. So I'll probably botch every, this gameplay rather severely. And there are also a few new achievements to pursue and stuff like that. I think we're gonna go with one of the Commonwealthers. And I'm leaning towards Australia at the moment. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with Australia. Um, let's see, we do start with the Great Depression. That ain't exactly fun, but mm, we'll work on that. Now, there are two achievements, I believe, for Australia. Um, the first one is the one for Gallipoli, which basically means we have to declare war on Turkey at some point and, and occupy some land. Um, and the other is uh, Weapons of the Third Emu, Emu War or something like that, which basically uh, spurs us to take, uh, take on the nuclear program and nuke our own backyard. I think both of, both of those are fairly feasible. And the interesting thing is that they are feasible, I believe, regardless of uh, uh, which political uh, association you decide to go for. So I assume we could stay in the Allies. Uh, at least for the nuking part. I don't think we can do so for <laughs> the Gallipoli achievement. I assume we can't declare war as a democracy, right? Um... Can declare war on country with the same ideological group without a war goal. Oh, that's what they can't do. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think Turkey is ever going to generate world tension. So I assume we. Okay, so in that case, we can't stay a democracy. We we'll have to do something. I think, you know, just in order to do that declaration of war. So at any rate, let's start with Australia. Uh, we are going to play regular, of course. We are going to play Iron Man. If I can find the darn clicky box. There we go. Uh, we're not going to play with historical focuses. I just want to see what happens when we don't. So, yeah. Um, as for difficulty, that's going to stay regular. Uh, it's not our achievements, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do any of those things. Reset all, please. There we go. I don't want to strengthen them. No, I don't need the challenge, I think. Not with Australia. And not with uh, my inferior playing skills. So yeah, Ireland's on. Uh, Ireland's on. Achievements are uh, Go, and we'll just search Ironman Australia. That's fine. Uh, save and play. So, what do we start with as Australia? Not much, I think. We have two research slots. Ugh. Well, that's not much at all. Um, where to even begin? I mean, we really need to get these things up and running. All industry. Um, and we also need to get research up and running too. I do wonder if that's actually worth it when you only have two research slots. Would you gain more, will you gain more overall research just using the research slots? Uh, construction speed. Uh, what's more important here, I think? Production efficiency cap. Well, we're not going to actually do any big time manufacturing for a long time. Oh, fine. Let's start with that anyway. Get some of the basic stuff out of the way. Mm. We are going to need more factories. And there isn't much room to build either. Um. Yeah, how does this work again? That's new, one of the new things in the patch, I believe. Where the amount of infrastructure dictates uh, how quickly your factories are built. Is that it? Or is it just... is it construction speed, or is it... cost? Mm, 
Uh, I should have read the patch notes, I think. Um, 563 there. Uh, and if I say no to this one. 600, okay. <clears throat> so it reduces the, you know, the time it takes to build the factory. The amount of infrastructure. Okay. Now we know that. I'm gonna hold off on that for a little bit. Because of national focuses. I know there are focuses that increases infrastructure. That's in Queensland. And the other ones are in Western Central Australia. Northern Territory. Okay, now let's have a look at the provinces. Again. So, there weren't anyone for Victoria, so we might as well start building a factory down in Victoria. If I could. Where is it? Where did civilian factories go? There we go. One civilian factory there. We're not going to increase infrastructure here. Uh, you are going to inf increase infrastructure in Queensland, so that's going to be a lot better later. And there was also something for Central, South, and Northern Territory. Yeah, we'll see how that works out. We don't have enough capacity to do much out here anyway. We'll do stick with that. Yeah, I think we'll just stock all infantry equipment. There's not much else we can produce. Um, and it requires eight units of steel, which. Yeah, do we have any resources? Yeah, we actually have sufficient steel for that. We have 12, 12 units of steel. Actually, I have more than that, and that's good then. So at least we can manufacture infantry equipment here without suffering too much for, for not having uh, the uh, specific resources. And as for dockyards, I assume that there isn't much to do. Oh, come on. Clicky. Oh, there we go, maybe. Okay, what to build? Tons of really, really basic ships, or we just stockpile convoys? Uh, let's just build convoys for now. See if we can get some kind of better ship. And yeah, we don't have oil, so we will produce at a much lower speed. That's fine. Don't really need that. National focus. Yeah, that's the fun part. Uh, over here we pretty much have things that increase research speed. Which is nice, but not a high priority. This is the same thing for Air Force. Same thing for Navy. Uh, there is infrastructure and all that fun stuff. Industry. We want that. Um, and then there's this choice then, of course. Do we want to side with Britain, which is basically this whole thing? Or do we want to just break free and do something else? And we have three, three, three choices here, here. Four, actually. Stay with Britain. We can go this path, which is an independent democracy. Uh, we can go this path, which is the more autocratic ones. So we can either uh, go um, fascist or communist. And as far as I've understood, I've looked at these things... And ultimately, what what it comes down to is this one. This allows you to get, this gives gives you, or rather, this the, uh, these decisions. They give you one year where your factory output and docker output is increased by twenty percent. That's the only real major change. Uh, directly here, I suppose. That's the, that's the, their boost for going that way. Um, Alternately, we join the Axis. We have to go one of the one, one of the route or the other because of um, we need to declare war on Turkey. And as far as I understood, if you go around the communist tree, you can try to pop in New Zealand. If you go the fascist route, you just take it. I don't know. I've never seen that event, so it could be interesting. Um. Deal with Japan? Oh, no. We're gonna be an empire of our own. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna push down this way. 
we're gonna become uh, quite the quite the power down here. So that means we should probably start with this to try to break free. As far as I understand this, a new symbol with 200, whatever it is. Set the rule to add 200. I think that's something to do with independence. Um, right? I can't see. There we go. Uh, yeah, 200 of a thousand point needed to become free. Currently getting nothing. So we'll have to do whatever we can to fix that. And I assume we have to go here and then start the uh, daily autonomy progress. Yes, indeed. So we have to push this way. Um, and it'll take some time before we can move beyond that. So we're going to go with never another Gallipoli, even though we're going to actually pursue that. So that's going to be that dream, uh, that uh, step. Uh, unassigned division. Oh, yeah. Uh, da -da -da. All you. There. Now you're assigned. <laughs> Don't think we're gonna actually do anything with you for a long time. Uh, low manpower. Insufficient resources. Yes. Low manpower. How much low? Ah. Ah. Oh yes. That's not much at all. Yeah. That's gonna be fun to fix. We're not gonna have much to, to do, are we? Uh, did we have a navy at all? Or an air force? 24 cast aircraft there. I don't know. Um, da -da 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 -da. Been so long since I've played this game, so I've completely forgotten everything. <laughs> um. Construction is fine, recruitable air, yeah, we're not really recruiting anyone. Uh, what sort of divisions are we going with? Oh my. An artillery, that kind of irks me. One width, 22, a bit too wide. Don't have the points to really edit it anyway, so... Um, naval map mode would probably help in trying to identify navies. There we go, there they are. All the ground few ships we have. Two heavy cruisers. The Kent and Canberra right. No, oh, Canberra at the very least. I thought they started with the HMAS Kent, or is that one for uh, New Zealand? I just vaguely recall those ships from the battles of uh, around the Solomon Islands, around the Good Al Canal. Yeah, we don't really have much of a navy, which is fine. Don't have much of an air force. Don't have much of anything. Um, yeah, send them back to the reserves. Oh, and then you're just gonna complain about that, aren't you? Ugh. forget. Where do I even see these things? Ugh. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ugh. You mean it wasn't here somewhere. A few hours later I finally figured it out, maybe. Um. Yeah, you're just gonna complain about the aircraft I just shelved. Uh, that's fine. Ignore that. Yes, we know we have man low manpower. I know I have insufficient resources. I don't care. And there's not much else to do. But then Start the clock, I suppose. Grand, Grand Australia. Yeah, we don't have much in terms of industrial production or anything at all, so... Who knows how this is gonna work out for us. So, since we switched to a historical focus, focuses, what, what did you decide to do? Why couldn't you start reinforcing the empire and push down here? Come on, Britain. You want this one. I know you do. Do that one before I become autonomous, please. Uh, 
You started directly with the Great Purge, huh? Strengthening the Polish state, yeah, that's cool. Oh, where's the Dormia map? There we go, diplomatic, there we go. I suppose the one we should be afraid of is Japan. Ultimately, nothing matters. Um, you just, just uh, crank up speed. Nothing will happen until we get some things done. We could train divisions, but we don't have enough population really to warrant that. As far as I know. So we'll just idle along for a while. And things started happening. Okay. Spanish Civil War has kicked in. Um, tiny little bit of tension there. Uh, I don't think we can send expeditionary forces. Negatory. No, we can't. No, uh, wait a second. Britain did. Or did I misread? Oh, of course. No, no. Uh, I just zoomed out and that made the, their divisions down in Gibraltar. That's what I'm seeing there. Um, what was that little thing I just clicked away? <laughs> there we go. Never another Gallipoli. Australia seeks distance from the Commonwealth. Okay. Uh, I forgot to check if they're going to do the same thing. If the other guys are going to go... No, they're just trying to improve their infrastructure and stuff. Ah, come on. Let me... Uh... Oh, right. Wrong, wrong game. Trying to use the different sort of movement speed, movement way here. There we go. Uh, yeah, you're just trying to do that kind of stuff. None of you are going to go for independence. Do something interesting. No, you're still all just focusing on other things than independence. Boo. What about South Africa? Yeah, much the same thing. They're just going to... Stay loyal, I suppose. We're not. Um. Yeah, we're gonna be dying straight for this. Because I assume that we still haven't gotten any real progress here. So, effect on autonomy plus 200. Yeah, is that the score level increase over time then? Again, I'm not played since the patch, so... I don't know how these things work. Or is that just a value we've stored up? Uh, change on the middle to free, we'll need... Ah, we need to complete one of the focuses, that's fine. We need political power, we need a certain amount of clout. Okay, we have to go all the way up there. Okay, fine. <laughs> we can modify the government. We can't mobilize, can we? No, we can't. Not yet, anyway. So, let's see here. Political advisors. Why did I get this one now, then? Are some things cheaper than others? Since everything else requires 150. 
Oh, there we go, that's why. <laughs> Considerably cheaper, Mr. Pennington. And the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation, okay. So we have a few very cheap ones. What, what are we going to do? We are going to need to increase uh, conscription at some point. We are going to have to increase our capacity for creating factories. Okay, we're never going to use you. Because that's not the chain we're going to push for. We're not going to ever use you. Uh, eventually we might have to use you. Never going to use you either. What about the other guys? Airbase, political... Ugh. Well, eventually we'll want to build military factories, but... Uh, Okay, so you're a lot cheaper, but you aren't as good as, say, the other one here. So that's the down, that's the trade, uh, trade off, I suppose. So why about the, this one then? Um, fighters, carriers. I don't think we're going to be building carriers. And we need the focus anyway to actually pick them. Okay, never mind then. Right, yeah. And we're never gonna get that focus. So we're never gonna have that aircraft designer. The infantry genius, so we definitely want this guy. Regardless, we can't really do anything until we have much more than this. We need 150 points before we can do anything. Okay, electronics done. We still have a boost here. Commonwealth research. Oh! Ah, so that's how it goes. So anything that they've already researched, we get a bonus to. Is that it? Is that how this uh, tech sharing thing works? Maybe. I don't know. If that's the case, I'll happily, happily accept it. Mm, and you went for which focus is next. Support is that is quo, really. They'll probably go straight down, to go with Britain and stuff then. Okay. You're still purging. Italy did decide to go. What an Ostrom, good for them. I wanted to check this, didn't I? see one of these guys go completely nuts on the, on the ahistorical stuff. That's what's really fun, isn't it? At least in my book that's what's fun, not the most fun. Still, uh, for our achievements, we can pretty much just stay on the low side, I think, for quite a while. Uh, because uh, we only need to do two, two things. We need to develop nukes, and we need to invade Gallipoli, which is somewhere up here. I have actually no idea which province it is. Uh, does it even say? Uh, 
Uh, come on, give me the name of the darn things. Promise of Versa, Promise of Ismir. I actually have no idea, and you should probably look up that. It would kind of suck it to find out, say, that the province is over in Greece, for all I know. But, uh, I'm sure it was somewhere here, but I don't see the name of the province. Isn't that literally somewhere here? Ah, okay, I'll go check an atlas of things, <laughs> so I'm absolutely certain. But I always thought it was somewhere on this shore, but I will... Mm, at any rate, I think I'm gonna cut it, take a first cut here. Um, if you find yourself enjoying watching this series, or if you'd like to support my channel, please consider using the like and subscribe buttons, because both those actions help me out a great deal. Um, and if you have um, uh, any sort of feedback to me, <laughs> the comment field is just down below. And beyond that, as always, thank you for watching.